Hi guys, I'm Jill. I am a pro educator here at Lashify, and today we are gonna try recreating a strip lash using Lashify. We are gonna see how much easier it is, so let's do it. So we have this strip lash. She's fluffy, she's long, she's full, right? We are going to put it on. I haven't put on a strip lash in four years. So we're gonna do it we're together. We're gonna do it together. All right, so I'm gonna take it and I'm going to, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna measure it to my eye. I think I'm gonna cut a little from the inside and the outside. Okay, so I'm gonna trim with my really professional scissors a little bit of the inside. And then we're gonna do a little bit of the out, outer corner. Okay, literally hate this so much already. I feel like I can't even see. Okay, okay. We have measured the, the lash. Now we're going to apply a little bit of this latex glue. We're gonna put it right on the strip. Oh, she's juicy. Ooh. Okay, so we have placed our eyelash adhesive, fast drying, onto our strip. <laughs> Okay, on to our strip lash, and it's black, so I don't want to mess it up. <gasps> Ew, I hate it. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to do this. Yeah, honestly, here's the other thing, too, though. It's not comfortable. Like, blinking is not fun, it's kind of heavy. And there's no way this is gonna last me for more than a night. Who knows if it's even gonna last me a few hours, right? I feel like I can't even open my eye. All right, we're stripped. But your stripping days are over. So we are gonna recreate this look using Lashify on this eye. I think I'm gonna do a base layer of C's and then I think that I might use some Stardust to kind of staff and layer, add a little bit of volume, maybe a fluffy, I don't know, we're gonna play, we're gonna see. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna obviously do our standard application using Lashify, so we're gonna come in with our double-sided whisper light, and we're gonna brush a light coat through my natural lash. Also, our bonds are amazing. They're not gonna damage the natural lash. So the difference between the bond, or the glue that we use for the strip lash and the bond that I just applied from Lashify, this adhesive is made for the skin. The bond that we put on this eye with Lashify is made for the lash. So we've had so many people who are like, mm -mm. I've been cutting up strips, I've been applying them on the underside for years using, you know, some sort of latex-based glue. It's not made for the lash, so it's gonna cause damage. So this, these are all my natural lashes. I've been wearing Lashify for four years. I've got zero damage. Our bonds are actually full of biotin and lavandula, so it's actually like nutrients for the natural lash. So we're not gonna have any damage using Lashify. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with a C10 in my inner corner, and I'm going to apply and I actually, because, actually no, I'm gonna leave it. I was gonna say I was gonna move it in just a little bit more, but I actually prefer to leave one or two of my inner corner lashes out, because it's gonna give like a little bit more of a natural look, whereas the way that this lash looks over here, I mean, I've got lashes the way, the direction they're going, I have them where it almost looks like they're like coming out of my inner corner. Okay, so we're coming in with a C10 again. We are going to overlap a little bit because we want to start building up that volume because this lash is pretty voluminous, right? So I want to start overlapping so I start to get a little bit more volume but nothing too crazy. Now we're gonna come in with a C12. So with this lash map, what I've noticed is it kind of is more of an open eye. We've got like a longer lash here. So I think I'm gonna go 12. 14, 12, 10, we're gonna see, we're gonna play. But again, all of our bonds are flexible, so if I don't like it, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna move it around and that's totally fine. Okay, so we have two 10s and a 12. Now we're gonna come in with a 14, which is surprising that I feel like the 14 is the longest, but look, I feel like we're like matching the length of this lash. 
So we have a 10, a 10, a 12, and a 14, and now we're gonna start tapering back down. We're gonna come in now with a C12. Again, we're starting to overlap just a little bit, and I'm just gonna put that on there, and now I think Maybe I'll try to fit another 12 and a 10, let's see. All right, so we're gonna put some bond onto the spine because we are overlapping. So we have a C12 now, I'm gonna overlap. I'm gonna start over, overlapping a little bit more just so we can fit that C10 because I'm kind of curious if that's gonna be the look that we need. Okay, this is gonna be our last lash of our base layer. So we have a C10, put a little bit of clear whisper light onto the spine and I'm going to overlap. So what I'm already already noticing and what I like better about my Lashify side is the fact that I don't feel anything. I still, I mean it's been quite a while now, I still feel this lash on the inner corner and on the outer corner. Here I feel nothing. So we are gonna come in now because I feel like these still have like a very thin fiber wispy look. So I'm gonna come in now with some Stardust, okay? Coming in with a Stardust 18, I notice that like here we have a lot of length, so I wanna match that length over here. So I'm gonna come in, stack that Stardust 18. Okay. Then I think I'm gonna do 16, 16 on both sides because again, we got this kind of like open eye doll look happening with this this I, and I also need to say I I want to rip this off it is so itchy I'm like struggling but you know what I'll keep it on for you um, I'm gonna come in I'm gonna do a 16 I'm gonna do this next door to the 18 and like again if I don't like it I'm just gonna come and move it okay 16 18 we're gonna do another 16 right here and we're gonna, I don't know, I'm not even overlapping these ones, I'm just putting them side by side. But see how we're building right here, we're building the volume, we're building that whisk, we're building those spikes. So now I think, I don't think I need any more Stardust, I think I'm gonna come in with A's, because I don't know if you can tell, but from the side, the curl on this is kind of flat. I love the curl on this, I love a good curl. But I'm gonna come in with the A's and I'm gonna do some A's in the corner, maybe one on the outside. If I wanna lessen the curl, I'll come in with the lash curl. So let's see, let's play. Okay, so I'm gonna do an A12. And I might even come in and do another A12, let's see. Let's pause, let's wait. And now I'm gonna do an A14 on this outer corner. Taking this A14 and I'm using the A again because I want this kind of winged flatter curl because the C's that we came in with before, they gave a really pretty curl, but I mean, if we're trying to match the strip. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so I think that we need one more in this inner corner, maybe a C10. A little bit shorter, only because if you're really looking at this lash map, where I, or I don't know, is it a lash map? This thing, where I place the inner corners really far in, so I think I just wanna match it just a little bit. Let's see, because again, if we don't like it, we're gonna take it off. Okay, C10. And I'm gonna overlap. And get it in that inner corner. Okay, this is fun. Okay, so I'm looking now, let's like assess. Let me go ahead and fuse these down. Now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna use my wand and I'm gonna accentuate some of these spikes to add a little bit more of a wisp. We have our mat. I'm actually really excited because it looks really good. Normally, I would actually leave it like this. I like the curl, I like the volume, I like the length, I like the wispiness, but we're here to match this strip. So I wanna come in and I wanna take my lash curl and I wanna use it to soften the curl just a little bit. What I've noticed about this one is the curl is definitely like towards the end, we have a little bit more flatter. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna use the precise, the precision tip side of our lash curl and I'm just gonna kinda of hold it there towards the ends because that's where we really wanna focus on softening the curl. Like 10 seconds, soften the curl and I'm gonna do it towards the ends. Okay, I think they look great. I think they look really good. I'm actually really excited, but look at this. This is the cool thing 
about Lashify versus a strip. So, ready? A strip. I see the band. I actually noticed that it's even lifting. And I'm gonna be honest, it's been, <laughs> it's been uncomfortable and like a little bit itchy the whole time. So there's the band, but look, when we look at the top of our Lashify lashes, seamless. We don't have to worry about coming in. Like if I was going to a club or if I was gonna go out for drinks, I would wanna cover that band. And then I also think I would tight line with my Lashify. I don't have to do any of that. This is literally it. This is it, this is all we're done. The other difference is I'm gonna wear this. I'm, I'm gonna rock this look for up to 10 days. I don't have to worry about going out with my friends and having inner corner or the inner corner of my lash lifting. I can go to bed, wake up, still have this lash map. I'm gonna guarantee you, if I were to go to bed tonight and with this strip lash, I would wake up, it'd be wonky, it'd be hanging off, she would not hang on. So, we have taken C's, some Stardust, and a couple A's to recreate this strip lash look. Again, we're gonna be able to wear this look for up to 10 days. It's seamless from the top. I don't have to wear any other makeup. I have no worries with Lashify. So listen, our stripping days, they are over. Make sure that you follow us on all of our social media. Subscribe to our channel down below. Get your lash on, girl.